All right, hey folks, I am doing a little short broadcast today because they came out with a pretty big patch. Activated a lot of stuff, so I'm going to talk about that today. Um, let me see what this, get that. The Hero Fest, or Clan Fest is coming up. Actually, not Hero Fest. Um, this is already triggered through. I've already collected my lucky tickets. Let me flip through my stuff on the airship quick and then I'm going to start doing just some runs and I'll talk about the patches or patch uh, by the way I'm in Florida um, Hurricane Dorian is bearing down on us so this weekend it will be here um, hope everybody else that's in Florida or anywhere else getting hit by storms stay safe need to do that because it's pretty damn dangerous out there right now. Oh, my cat's over here begging. Some begging? Some begging? Come here. Come here. All right. Um, let me do the Astromium Association real quick here. Collect some of this, these goodies. Oh, and so with the patch, yet again, it's set up so that it doesn't download all data, even though if you tell it to download all data. So I'm going to go back and show you how to set it to, oh, eight hours. I'm going to go back and show you guys how to make sure to set that so it does a full data download. So if you're on a slow connection, like you're hot spotted to something, like I do when I'm out at work gaming, I've got a, uh, oops, I forgot to do that. I have a gaming phone that I use, an older phone. But its connection is through my hotspot, and the hotspot is unlimited data, albeit unlimited slow data. So having it set up here at my house for the getting all the data makes a lot more sense than having it drag out and be super slow when I'm at work. Like this. My frozen veggies are beeping because they're done. I've got dinner prepping as well. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Take it here. Get rid of that. And eight hours and go. All right. After those, I'm going to hit the seabed caves. I'm just going to do these on normal right now. Working on leveling up the wood cupid. Uh, is my upload speed? No, my upload speed's going all right. I've got an encode running right now, um, but I'm noticing my Twitch is just looks like it's running really slow. So while that gets ready to load, I'm going to get Facebook up on this other monitor. And then I'm going to go prep my food um, some more, which means thawing some chicken to go in my food that I'm going to be eating. Let's go Monster Super League. Monster Super League. I need to up this, update this because it's not Hero Festival right now. Update information. Just going to refresh that page because for whatever reason it's being funky. Go ahead and catch the fish. Come on, Bethy. You know you want me to catch you. Last try, Beth. Or your cut baits. Oh, you're going to be cut bait, Beth. I'm so sorry. But it looks like my team just did not like you. Ah, my CPU is running at 100% utilization. 
mainly because I'm running an encode right now on my cyber producer. I'm actually surprised MSL is running as well as it is right now with that running. Um, my stream does still show that it's processing pretty good. All right, I'm going to go get my microwave food out of the microwave and put it back. All right, sorry about that, but I'm back again. I just tossed some chicken in the microwave to heat up. All right. So all that said, all that said, let me open up my window here so you can see my primary window. Monitor, I have all on. I'm going to make this bigger so people can see it. Bigger-ish. I'm going to move it to the front. I'm going to move it over here. Oh, that was such a fast minute. My chicken just finished some. If I don't take it out of there, it's going to just keep beeping. So I'll be back again in a minute. BB out of the way. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, and back again. All right, let's run through this. So we got many things going on right now. Uh, Monster Super League, August Special Dungeon, Fire Knuckles. It's going to be August 31st, so in two days. Um, you can only enter once each period. You'll be able to get four Star Knuckles Soul Stones at the end of the dungeon. Uh, it'll be nice to have more of him. I have him at Evo 3 already, so I don't really need him. But I'll, I'll grab some more, so why not? Alright, patch notification had finished. My, by the way, again, I'm running an encode, you know, I'm going to pause the encode just because it is eating up like all of my system resources right now. So we're going to jump back over to the MSL. And we're going to go look at the maintenance. Um, they gave us a light and dark Venus as a result of the maintenance, which was cool. Um, no more shadow packages available to purchase. Although they were they were going to run it through September third, they ended it early. But now you have to get him from the Sonic package too. That's interesting. I wonder why they decided to do that. All right, this is this was the big deal. Big lots of stuff going on with the maintenance here. So we'll open this puppy up. Maintenance was this morning. Um, maintenance is complete. Special Dungeon Guardian Knuckles again August 31st through September 1st. So for two days you will get some more Fire Knuckles. Um, it does say Knuckles Tail Shadow, which is weird. Clan Festival, you can get shadows during Clan Fest potentially. Um, I'm not going to probably do Clan Fest this time around. I just don't have the Astro Gems to even get anything really out of it. So I'm not going to bother on it. Uh, I'm going to save up. Uh, so Sonic Special product sale guide after maintenance Sonic package one. We'll give you a four star Ashman selection card to get a Sonic Tails or Knuckles, um, and then some fruits and some energy. Purchasable unlimited number of times. 
Sonnet Package 2 will let you get a silver or a shadow. Astrogems 1200 high light dark egg times 3 equal 200,000 100 energy first of all unlimited times. I'll, I'll actually go in and show that because that's available now. New Superstone Evolution Astromon, Archwolf, Wild Fang, Archwolf, Fenrir added. I actually, I like the one on the left better. Just look wise. Um, monthly event super guide. We're going to jump over to that real quick. Oops, something went wrong. Oh, not pretty. Um, the festival period will be August 3rd. So starting tomorrow will be the festival period. So do your super evolution of your wild thing tomorrow to get the bonus 600 Astro Gems. So that'll be cool. Um, and then after this festival will be Victoria Nike. New collection of costumes, let's issue a Sheriff Wild Thing, Wolf of the Golden Sun, Ezra Sky Red Valley. So these are just different colorations of the same one. The collection is only available for non Super Bowl Wild Thing, Fen Fenris, Fenrir. They are actually going to make it at some point so you can use it on Super Evolved units as well. They have announced that they were going to do that, just hasn't been done yet. All right, this is the um, anniversary person. It's going to be Camille. And they sort of took my idea of having a spaceship, so I like that. I did suggest that they have a spaceship, um, and now they do. What is this? Oh, you can click on it to get a bigger, bigger picture. Click, click on the X. Nothing. Okay. Um, four star mini Camilla. Um, it's added to the asteroid, so ooh, we can review it. Sweet. So it's only going to be available during the event time. So these will be capturable units. Hopefully, everybody saved up their astro chips. Um, I've got like 220 something astro chips. So I do not let any of them ever get away from me if I can avoid it. So if I don't catch it in four or five tries, wasn't really destined, but four or five tries, no matter when they show up, pretty much guarantees I'll be able to get the Evo 3 light and dark, which is going to be requiring a fusion. We'll get to that in a second. Pre-fest will be September 6th through the 10th. Festival period will be the 10th through the 24th. The finale is the 24th through the 26th. Mini Camilla will spawn and adventure during the festival, so normal runs. The wording on here is backwards. The encounter rate is lower than rare Astromon's rate. So, okay, maybe it's not backwards. Lower, so it's, in other words, it's harder than rares and higher than the super rares. So they're saying the encounter rate is higher than super rares, but lower than rares, which makes no sense, really. Um, they need to re-look at how they've worded that. Um, exotic Ostromans can be caught only with special Astro Chips, spawning habitat, any of them. For the light, captured Astromans will be EVO 1, which is fine. Um, they will, of course, be doing their sales for experience or rate attempt finders of stuff. Um, I found that these Benedict support is just for rares, usually, I think. Maybe I could be wrong, but I think it's just rares. Um, one plus one only applies in the first buy of each item during the festival. And so, in other words, you get a bonus unit for buying one the first time. Uh, September 10th through 24th, enjoy the festival letter with Zephyr support, special Astro Chips times 30, energy times 100, but you should have you should have a stash of Astro Chips at this point, hopefully. Uh, exotic Fusion to get the Dark Mini Camilla, you can do that once. It takes an Evo 2 Mini Camilla and, and oh look at that, there you actually have to have two Mini Camillas at Evo 2. Usually it was like one Evo 3 and one Evo 1. And now they've leveled it out a bit. So you have to have eight, you have to have eight light units to get one dark unit. So then to get that dark unit up, you've got to have another what? Eight plus sixteen, you gotta have another twenty-four. So you have to have twenty-four lights to get one dark. Um, and then four, eight, twelve, sixteen. So you have to have you have to catch a total of about how can I do math? About 40, I think, Camillas to get both the light and dark. Gem slot random, of course, but just, just so you know, gem slot random means your dark unit will have no square slots. Um, seasonal event Dungeon the Elusive Thief will be around with Mini Sarah and Mini Tina Soul Stones. Interesting enough. Um, I don't really need either of them, but interesting that they're putting those back in with Soul Stones again. Um, 
Make sure to restart your game so you can get your clues again. Special Guardian Dungeon will be Light Mini Sarah, and then they're going to have a Special Guardian Dungeon Light Mini Tina. So they're both of them are showing back up again as Special Dungeons. All right, Astromon League Special Season Champions League. They're going to run these at the same time as the Special Normal League, which is once every three weeks. A three-round PvP battle with the teams of 12 Astromons in offense and 15 in defense. Two wins out of three rounds determine the winner. It will be accessible after completing a particular stage of the adventure area. Every month there will be a chosen specific Astromon that won't be able to be used in the Championship League. In other words, basically banned out. Uh, actually it says Astromons, which means more than one, so that will be interesting. Only one of the same element Astromon can be used for both offense and defense teams. So if you use a Fire Miho, it can only be used in one of the teams, but it can only be used with a Water Miho. So you can't use Fire Draker, Fire Draka, Fire Draka, Fire Draka, 12 Fire Drakas for one of your teams. You can't use it for offense and defense either. Um, Champions League related challenges have been added. Champions League ticket has been added to the refill items. September 9th, 2019, the first season of Champions League will begin will be held after three weeks. Champions League will have the same time schedule as Astronauts League. UI improvements, package tabs and reorgs and limited leveling, crystal tabs, refill tabs have been removed, items from refill can be purchased through goods but buttons on the top, new packages added, existing packs are removed, some level one and sweets are purchasable per day, ascension packages added for light and dark astromon, um, three times a week, evolution packages added, purchasable three times per month, superstone packages adjust in price change, purchasable three times per month. League medals, they've gotten rid of the variant eggs because they were just ridiculously surprised for what you could get. Basically a three-star variant. Um, they have the Light Venus and Dark Venus available again for purchase. As many times as you want, but you spend money for it. Um, you can get Light and Dark Victoria through limited packages, September 15th or 28th, which means they're going to sell them for cash. Um, which is fine, it keeps the game going. Additional changes, gem and trinket inventory. They've increased maximum capacity of 300 to 500. That's nice. The inventory can be expanded five slots at a time, can be purchased with gold. Um, gem and trinkets filter. Gems filtered by the kinds and bonus type. That's finally nice. Uh, actually, no, they've already had some filtering. Trinkets filtered going normal, sacred, and others. So that's finally, finally a way to, to do gems or in trinkets. What the hell's up with my broadcasts? It looks like it's just sitting there. Well, I've been talking for a while. It obviously looks like it's been recording. I'm just not sure what Twitch is doing or not doing. So I'm going to refresh my Twitch page. I mean, it does say I'm live. I think Twitch is just, yeah, Twitch was just frozen on my side for whatever reason. Um, Max, okay, this was important because I was running into these issues. I wasn't running into energy issues or egg issues. Um, technically, I had hit some fruit limits. I ran into what looked like skill books. I had so many skill books I couldn't get rid of them; it was killing me. Um, but I did run into I maxed I maxed out on trinket materials, and because I maxed out on trinket materials, it was giving me an error report and wasn't tell, it was telling me I couldn't get skill books as a result, which was really wacky. Um, but I'm glad to see that they boosted that, so that should. That should never happen to me again, which is good. Um, the Vulpiness, which is the super evolution of the Miho, number of strikes have changed following the Vulpiness Horan super skill. So it changed her from five strikes to seven, which in theory I think means she does more damage now. Um, you'll be able to auto battle dragon dungeons. Uh, Clan Buffnos will be split on the map. Skill level process and time adjustments, continent adjustment. There was some, I guess, some weird immunity of bosses on first set continents, so they fixed that. Rebirth festival adjustments. It will now be possible to use Mini Tina light and dark as rebirth material, so that's cool since we'll be getting some stars for them or um, soul stones from the uh, dungeons. They've updated Astromon stories, which is interesting. Not sure why they updated Mary. I guess I'll have to look. Uh, exposure background of the boutique will be changed from 2D to 3D. We'll take a look at that. Lead defense party, not applicable leader skill. If the skill doesn't apply, it'll be gray, which is nice, so you know that it doesn't work. Um, they fixed some festival adjustments. Again, the rebirth expedition. They fixed the red dot always staying on. Um, 
super lab on the first entry, all buttons are shown as inactive, so got rid of that for the first time you went in. Rebirth Fest, Acquired Astro not immediately appearing in the Astro Guide Adventure. When starting a battle, the skillbook inventory is full message coming up even though the Superstone Materials inventory is full. That was what was happening to me effectively, or sort of. Um, low memory fix, um, blocking masters, they'll stay blocked now. Uh, battle participants displayed wrong. Persephone and Whisk skills affects leaving unusual traces. Sometimes, and this ran, this happened. This happened to me. Not selling some of the gem, the gems four stars and less selling what they're supposed to. Um, doing an option to continue battle when encountering exotic astronauts. The battle will continue even when encountering an exotic variant. Oh, that probably happened to me. I probably butchered a bunch of variants. When leveling up three star. Fire, Jack Belittle's three and five star passive skills, the chances to apply the effects of those skills were not increasing. I never noticed that, but I guess that's cool they caught it and fixed it. All right, so we've now gone over that. We're gonna go and take a look at... Hey, monitor, cut that off. All right, so we're actually gonna jump over to here. And once this run finishes, we're going to dive into it and take a look at the stuff that's been changed. I have to turn off the auto battle so that it won't continue. Dark Gene just crushes stuff on these maps. Alright, so we're going to jump to the airship. And first things first, we're going to take a look at this. Just want to see what I've done, not done. Still have to watch the commercials to get those, but I'll watch this. I'm not going to make you guys watch them with me, so that would be silly. The best value 2,400 Astro Gems for only $90. Yay! I don't have money to do that. All right, but let's start by looking at the Astro Guide. And let's go look at the light and dark. Camilla, who should be showing up in the Astro Guide now, even though we can't get them yet. There we are. Uh, okay. I mentioned I was going to show you how to fix that update stuff. Um, all right. Honestly, I don't like her mustache. I mean, why? The mustache? I mean, I, I guess she did have a mustache in the 2D picture, but let's take a look at the other versions of her. Does have her little dance going on there. Wasn't she supposed to have a spaceship? They had a picture of her on a spaceship. I'm I'm disappointed now. Um, I'm reading this, the little story snippets here. Maybe the special, maybe the alt is the alien space attack. Okay, but oh, I guess so. All right. So, Astral Shot. She's a laser from a suspicious looking gun that nevertheless packs a punch. SP Siphon. So, this is another. There are a lot of dark units with SP Siphon. Um, and she's only got 20. Now, she's a four star, but so she's got 25%. The five star. The, well, there are four stars that have 30% base. I mean, the Dark Sand Wraith has 30% base. I'm not sure why they weakened her on that, unless she does more damage. Um, Sends it from far away to a UFO that comes down and attacks all of us. I actually told, I specifically told MSL they needed to do an, an attack like this with Cosmo. They did it with her instead, so I still like it, but I told them to do it. Attack card becomes proportional to own max hit points, so she's a hit point aggressor. She better be, okay, so she is a tank, so she will have a lot of hit points. 
Um, so she'll SP fill herself up fairly quickly, and then she'll do a hit point um, aggression based attack. And as a tank, that's all right. Uh, she does have a fair amount of hit points at level 60, just comparing it up. So she's also a tank. She's about 9,000 hit points shy um, of the Arthur. Let's look at the variant version. Oh, the variant versions. I'm, I like the white hair better than the dark hair. All right, let's look over at Light Camilla. She actually looks pretty cool, by the way. Oh, even cooler with the pink hair going on there. That's pretty nice. Anyway, uh, we were going to go look at Camilla's. Like Camilla. Oh, look at that blue hair. All right. By the way, if you had not noticed, she has a Nez little bag on her side as the second ver Evo version. The Evo 3 version does not have a Nez bag, though. That's unfortunate. Although it does have a star inside the bag. They really should put the Nez one on the Evo 3. That would have been pretty cool. Um, light, light units like shock, so 80% for one turn. Exposed weakness, 80%. Um, I'm not sure that's really, I mean, maybe it's okay. But, I, I mean, there's a lot of shock type units out there for light already. Um, increased ally hit points by 35, 30 to 35%, so same type. I mean, it'll be an interesting unit to maybe to play around, and I'll build them, of course, but I'm not sure how much use, if any, I'll get out of them. So we're going to take a look over here real quick at the gem stuff. We'll do some storage issues. We're going to submit the purge. An egg back, manage items, we're going to get rid of those guys, oh so they have some sliders here now, oh you can filter by different types of gems now, so you only see, I can tell it only show me crit gems, oh that's, that's a lot more useful. I used to have to go through and hunt down where all my gems were, and now they've got the slider that you can just tell it to sort stuff. And it defaults back to showing you everything. I actually like that. That's that's pretty cool. Hit point percentage gems. Yeah. No, that's I actually do like that. That's that is a nice welcome modification they've done. Uh, crap gem, crap gem, not crap gem, not crap gem, crap gem. Let's take a look at trinkets. So I can sort trinkets now. Oh, I can sort them by grade. That's that's handy. You didn't used to be able to do that. I do not have any of that type of trinket. Sacred is a plus seven percent. Glowing is a so, okay. Yeah, well that's cool. So there are different ways to do some sorting of that now. Well, I believe Sean Miss Miho. And oh there was something let's look at special events. So I did the special event, sorry, it's another showing. Support package, we'll just skip that. Three bucks, three bucks, nine bucks for a gem fix. Not showing up yet. Oh, so if you click on your picture, 
and you go to settings and you tell it download and then you tell it download again it'll download the data so it doesn't have to do any other downloads until the next patch comes up even if you told it to download initially you have to do this each and every time which is rather annoying but that's just the way it is Um, was there anything else that they really changed? Oh, they changed stuff in the shops. Let's take a look. Special shop. Um, not really changed so much here. Let's look at the crystal shop. $27 for a 30-day rental, again, is just wrong. Um, I don't see any reason to get a variant like that. 300 for a five-star skill book at random. Um, not worth it for me to do that either. Flip, 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 flip. Oh, we we're going to go look at the... Oh, two days I got to do that again. Um, League medals. I've already done that one. Did they change anything else in here? Chess. They, re they resequence the way they are shown up in here. Um, I need 1,500... I need 400 something more points to get the five-star guaranteed. Or... 2,500 more points for the Holy Gleam. I'll probably have to save for the Holy Gleam because I need to get a bunch of Holy Gleams to do my shadows. And that'll be one more that I'll have. Um, currency. Currency is actual money. Leveling. Actual money. Limited. Oh, these are the so these are the packs they were talking about. Oh, crap. 90 bucks to get that. Wow. All right. Well, 99 cents for a skill book pack once per day. I'm, I'm not a fan of that. You should not be doing, well, you should seriously consider not doing a 99 cent thing. Evolution pack, fire, water, wood, three purchases per month, 2,000 astrogems. To, oh. Well, I mean, the game will stay in business if people are buying these, so. The plan. Interesting. Um, jump back. We're going to go to the other shop. This is interesting. Special shop. Crystal shop. So the crystal shop just takes you back to the other shop then. It's just a shortcut out. Um, so league points. Yeah, so I need 4,000 league points to get the holy gleam. And this, that's PvP, and they got rid of the um, variance eggs because people realized that buying those was just stupid. All right, well, we've looked through some of this stuff. Interesting tidbits here and there. Um... 30 days, 1,000 astrogems. So you could buy this ship for $46 and it's permanent. But it doesn't tell you anything about it by clicking on it, which is unfortunate. 